Hello and welcome to the premiere of Roleplay Swan Song, the latest show in the Roleplay franchise, I guess you could say. I'm JP McDaniel, one of the cast members here. You're going to recognize uh, pretty much everyone on the show except for the guy right down in the center under the logo, and that is, of course, Adam Coble. You've probably seen him around uh, at least these parts for Dungeon World. He's done a couple of things with Misclicks as well. Uh, but Adam, why don't you start off and, and first off, tell us a little about who you are, what you do, and why you're here. All righty. Um, I am Adam Coble. Uh, I'm the co-creator of Dungeon World, but today I am the space master of space. Um, <laughs> yes. What I what I do I, I I master space right now for the next few hours. Um, yeah, that's all I'm about right now. What about not right now? What else do you do aside from that? You you DM how many other campaigns have you do you DM actively? Uh, this is this is campaign number three for me. I've got two uh, two live campaigns that I'm running right now. I'm playing a game of uh, Burning Wheel that I just got started, and uh, I'm playing a game called Night Witches, which is about uh, I've heard a lot about Soviet that. Soviet uh, bomber pilots in World War II, which is also pretty cool. And that's a, that's like a tabletop RPG as well. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty badass. That sounds. Do you guys get into the accent? <laughs> uh, I, I do for sure. Accents are key. Uh, everybody else it varies. Damn well, else, straight. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> nice, nice. We'll have. If you're gonna to, do uh... a Soviet D and D thing, you gotta be in. Everyone's. You gotta, gotta be, be into it, comrade. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Listen to me. <laughs> Let's go bowling. <laughs> <laughs> that's all that, Wheat that's, knows. That's, that's his entire repertoire of Russian. Pulling for Nazis. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, oh, exactly. shit. Is, no, is everyone wearing glasses but me? Uh, yeah. Get with it, wow. Jeff. Also, okay. Wheat like, shaved well. his beard. We were going to have like a fully bearded cast, but Wheat fucked it up. Damn it, Wheat. wheat. What are you looking back at? He's got the soul I, patch. I see like this. But then I look at Adam and I'm just like, well, shit, we, you're... I had to reset. You had to reset. You had to reset. Yeah. Well, let's intro everyone else on the show. Again, you've probably uh, recognized them before as they are all already on other roleplay shows. But we, why don't we start with you? Who are you and, and what do you do? Yo, I'm DJ Wheat. Uh, you might have seen me in other roleplay shows such as R&D and Cross the Good Life and uh, other things. And I'm excited uh, for this one. Here, let's let's do it. Um, I stream, and uh, I do some shows with JP. I do some shows with Jeff, and I just want to go on the record. I'm glad you let me go first because What's up? Now I'm excited. Obviously, we have Adam uh, as our space master, but I am fucking thrilled that I get to play with the one and only Stephen Lumpkin. So, <laughs> booyah! True. Let's do it. We'll use that as a segue. Stephen, it's your first role play show. As a player character, it's true. No longer are you it's pulling true. the strings. Well, maybe uh, you are. That's but. that's what you all think. <laughs> uh, going to have your hands full, Adam. This guy, <laughs> I DM this son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I'm not scared of Steven. That, I'm that not afraid. Good I believe he was rolling around in poop. I think he tried <laughs> to set Neil on fire and kill yeah, him. I, I, yes. I distinctly remember you guys butchering my game. That was great. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> thank you for that. No, uh, I had a lot of fun rolling around in poop. In Dungeon World. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Tag For those line. just joining from the front page, Steven's the weird one. He's the odd guy. Just just go with it. Hi, guys. Uh, <laughs> so I, 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 I run some other role-playing shows on role-play, uh, including R&D, and uh, maybe, maybe there's another one? I don't know. Um, and I work in the video games industry. I'm currently working on a game called Warhammer 40,000 Eternal Crusade. It's going to be awesome. Uh, and I think that's, I think that's about it for cool. like what I do online. We, I'm just going to give you the platform. Pe people are one, the close up of the shirt. I saw you going like this, trying to get, it's get it in there. Is that dope. a one piece shirt? It is. Okay. It is. All right. It is. And who's the best one piece character, JP? I don't watch the anime or anything. Yeah. So yeah. the <laughs> correct answer is Nico Robin. So there you go. Just Nico say, Robin. So you know. Oh, that's right. You've, you've lectured me before about Nico Robin. Well, not Nico lecture. Robin. Is that what it is? She's the best. It's yeah, okay. it's a, f a female character that I, f I forget. What we just tell us. What she grows it? hands out of her body. <laughs> like, hey, I, mean, I, do, I do that God. too. Look, she's right? the no, like multiple. She's the best. She's the best. <laughs> do they stay on her after she grows them? And if if you want them to stay on her, they can. Uh, <laughs> but they're not permanent. Oh my God, we. 
<laughs> Look at chat. They're agreeing. Chat's so, loving it. You know. Yeah, that's good, right? Chat agreeing with you? <laughs> yeah, it yeah, actually, it is. It's pretty good. But the once in a often. lifetime, when the stars align, chat agrees with someone on the stream. That's what happens. Jeff, what's going on with you? Who are you and, and what do you do on the internet or in life? Uh, what's up, everybody? In case you're just now joining us, I, uh, I'm a former full-time professional StarCraft II player for Evil Geniuses. Now I'm more of like a commentator host personality kind of thing. I still play. I'm still competing. I'll be at uh, Red Bull Atlanta Battlegrounds this coming weekend where Wheat will be joining us, I believe. Right, Wheat? Negative. God damn it! I just assumed. <laughs> oh, I just assumed. I apologize. But... I, hey, I'm. You know what? I'm bummed. Yeah, I was supposed to be there, Katz. Uh, I think I actually said it already, but yeah. Um, but could, I wish I was going, dude. <laughs> he sometimes shows up there. Uh, I've been doing shows with JP, which is actually kind of weird to think about for two and a half years now. Three? Is it only two and a half? Stay, might, the, game, no, going stay the game like... was maybe three years. Three or four now, I think. Getting old yeah, is what we're, we're getting, doing. We're getting pretty old. We're getting but, four uh, years been, older. Been with the McDaniels for a while now doing shows. We've uh, been doing some roleplay. I'm on Solemn. Before that, it was just called Roleplay, I guess, the original yeah, that was one. Yeah, the flagship show still is. You sound salty about that, Jeff. Not salty at all, man. Those are good times. <laughs> are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Check out those VODs on uh, JP's thing. Um, his twi Twitter or YouTube. Anyways. Uh, and then for me, I'm also a Warhammer fanatic, so, uh, Steven and I have bonded over that. He's creating a Warhammer computer game. I play the, <laughs> the vanilla, the original Warhammer 40,000, Terranids for Life, the Great Devourer. Um, <laughs> other than that, you can just, you know, find me on the internet. So we'll see a lot of each other if you check out the show. So thank you. There you go. Yeah, I think Jeff is probably a part of, I think we're in the 400s now, 400 hours or so of content, uh, role play related. And I think you're probably in like 200 of it. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> you're in a good portion of it. Been around for a while. Yeah. Yeah. So, all right, cool. That does the intros and everything. Uh, Adam, I guess it, this is your turn to, to take it away. Typically the DM will from now or from here on out, tell us what the fuck this game is. And I guess you could probably tell us why the show is called Swan Song. Cause I think a lot of yeah. people are wondering. Totally. Um, so the game we're going to be playing is called Stars Without Number. It's a sci-fi role-playing game based primarily on uh, basic Dungeons & Dragons. So real old school, real lethal, um, very simple mechanically. Uh, it's got a skill set that comes to us from a game called Traveler, which if you're an old nerd, you've heard of. If you're not, uh, Traveler is to sci-fi RPGs what D&D is to fantasy. It came out in the 70s and... Stars Without Numbers has got a skill system that's sort of based on that. Um, and Stars is what we call a sandbox game. So yes. rather, than, rather than me leading the players from plot point to plot point, um, I'm just going to say, here's the universe. Go be in it. Um, Go forth. The show, the show is called Swan Song because that's the name of the ship that the characters are responsible for. It's technically property of the Sunbeam Multistellar Corporation. Uh, you guys owe an ass ton of money on it, and the game's going to be about paying that money down, getting your ship. Uh, or you might just bail out partway through, and then it'll be about evading people trying to collect yeah. money I for hope, the ship. I hope, <laughs> actually, within the first ten minutes, we like lose the yeah. ship, but then it's called Swan Song for no fucking <laughs> for reason. For no reason. <laughs> part, part way through, Adam? Yeah. Uh, yeah. We'll just well, have to come up. Debt is one of our primary <laughs> responsibilities. <laughs> well, the great thing about the show being called Swan Song is that Swan Song also means the last glorious thing you do before you die horribly. So, yep. you know, multi-purpose title there. Yep. There you go. So for today, it's the name of the ship. We can just name each season. I mean, I can fit eight characters in there. We'll be good. We'll be good. <laughs> we can change the title anytime we lose the ship. Just let's get through a couple episodes because it's not cheap. Anyways. Yeah. <laughs> so the setting is inspired primarily by um, kind of classic era 70s, 80s sci-fi, um, Sid Mead concept art, Blade Runner, um, the, the novel Dune, um, I'm particularly inspired by uh, Ian Banks' culture novels. So if you want any extra media to absorb while you're desperately waiting for the next episode, go and do that. Um, so things, things that exist in Stars Without Number, uh, faster than light travel. Uh, ships have what are called spike drives that allow them to drill down into subspace and travel at, uh, at faster speeds. Uh, psychic powers are really important to the setting, um, primarily because the sector that the, the characters are in, that's called Asgard Sigma, 
Uh, it's very far away from Earth. So far that, that no one that lives in that sector knows uh, where Earth is anymore. Um, the the people of, of this setting have been separated from Earth for a very long time by an event called the Scream, which was a horrible psychic backlash that killed most of the powerful psychics, and now you're stuck out in the wilderness trying to uh, get by. Uh, there are aliens. We may or may not see them. Uh, cybernetics are a thing. You know, standard sci-fi stuff, energy weapons, repulsors, spaceships, cool motorcycles, that kind of thing. Um, but one thing that you don't have is faster than light communication. So in a lot of ways, the setting feels a little like kind of a high seas thing where you have to take communication on board your ship. There are mail ships traveling from sector to sector delivering news. So uh -huh. what might happen in one sector might not reach uh, the, the far reaches of the sector for a, a while. Um, so that's something to, to kind of keep in mind. So the characters are all members of the crew of the Swan Song, um, filling various roles. Uh, the Swan Song is a small uh, free merchant ship uh, built on a, a freighter hull. It's got a s simple spike drive. It's got a thousand or a hundred or a thousand tons of cargo space on the sheet. You guys have it, um, and hopefully you'll be using that cargo space to move expensive stuff around. Um, so what we're going to do for character creation, we'll jump right into it. Uh, we need attributes for the characters. So as I mentioned, the, uh, the game uses the, the, the oldest of old school, the 3D6, rolled in order and assigned to strength, intelligence, wisdom, dexterity, constitution, and charisma. So let's get doing that. So who wants to go first? I suggest Wheat. Why? No, I'm not yeah. going first. No, fuck I you. Fuck wheat. you. Hold on. We'll Steven do... has been GMing for years. Those goes. He's going first. All right, I'll go first. Okay. Hang on. Steven, what's the... God, and, so we'll and do... fuck you, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do what's each the step. order we'll do of abilities? Step. We'll do them all together. So, like, Steven, roll your 3d6 six times, and then we'll move on. We'll get everybody attributes before so, we, uh, we move so on. I, I want to state there. that uh, in, in other role plays, typically where we do the, the 3d6 of the 46, I guess mostly Solemn and, and uh, D&D, &D, uh, it was always 46, remove the lowest one. So this is even a little bit more hardcore than that, but yeah. you can. What what's the ruling again, Adam? You can change it from an eight to a fourteen there's, or something like there's that. There's there's two. Yeah, there's two ways you can move your scores around. So you can reduce scores that are above thirteen. You can basically mediocritize yourself. So if you got a sixteen, you can bring it down to a thirteen to bring your four up to an eight. So there's a middle band four between eight and thirteen. Yeah, that yeah, you can. Yeah. yeah, you can move them up. Um, but you can't bring a low score above 8 or lower a high score below 13. And then when you choose your class, you'll be given the opportunity to bump one of your prime requisites up to 14 if it's not already. Okay. So and the thing about this is because it's based on that, that old version of D&D, like the attributes really aren't that huge a deal. Your skills are way more important. Uh, the way you just get you done in character is going to be way more effective than being like, I got a plus 17,000 on my strength. I'm going to punch everything to death. Okay. Which is still cool, Adam. All yes. right. It is cool, but do it, <laughs> do it without the numbers. Man. Okay. Yeah, it's true. And right, also, right, do we go in go. order? Is it the first roll yeah. is strength? The first roll is your, yeah, it's strength, oh my intelligence, God. wisdom. Is... All right, let's Steven do it first. Harrowing. All right, <laughs> Steven, what's, what's your strength? Should we describe our is characters after the attributes? Should we introduce our characters after? Yeah, we'll do, we'll do character introductions because we'll do oh attributes, classes, backgrounds, and training, and then we can talk about what your character okay, is cool. about. Is, is, it, is it strength, dex, con, intelligence, wisdom, charisma? It's uh, whatever the order is on the character sheet. I'm going Do strength, the dex, con, and whiz cha. Dex, con, and whiz cha. Here we and go. So, and oh my it. god. Warrior. Boom. Oh. <laughs> 15. All right. Let's see what the next one is. Oh my god. Why doesn't it let me go up? Yeah. JP, can you Nine Skype me the dex. warrior one? Uh, oh, you mean the, the PDF? Yeah. Yeah, we'll nine con. Nine's pretty good. You peaked I'm early, like Steven. <laughs> Fifteen, nine, 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 nine. <laughs> oh, uh -oh. no! Oh, oh, <laughs> You're not <Downward> first! Spiral. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, baby daddy needs a new pair of shoes. <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> oh. Damn. Damn. Oh, no, this is going to be the worst. It's not all about the numbers, though. Remember that. Hey, ah, so nice. You're Strong a and charismatic. charismatic guy. <laughs> Sick. So it, it goes. Oh, so it goes. Strength, Dex, Con, and Twiz, Charisma. Yeah. That's yeah. That's, so, that's so, right. so Stephen, while while we move on to the next person, you can you can keep that 15 and 14 if you want to, or you can bring them both as far down as 13 to bring up the the other scores. 
Oh, I'm but, keeping. But the only thing you could bring up would be Int by one point, yeah, so don't be, worry about it. Yeah, I'm going last. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go. I'll go now. Yeah, exactly. All right. Okay. There. Um, all right, so... Um, Dude, strength. Go. Yep, strength. Uh, Thanks, 11. Okay. And then... Dex. 10. Con. And... 12. Not bad. Oh. Hacks! Slightly above average guy. 12 and... Bring it home! 13. <laughs> Thir no, Adobe, why'd you do that? Oh, crash. my character sheet crashed, but that's uh, okay. Don't worry, I'm recording all that. Well, open. you're going to be adjusting it, so you have to tell me what the final ones are. But Okay, uh, I'll, I'll redo it again. What was my int? 13. Mm -hmm. And yeah, then 12. Damn, my God. king shit. of mediocrity well, over here. Yes. Slightly better and than charisma. Yep. Damn. Oh, God, damn. <laughs> what is this? Good Hello. fucking rolls from me. <laughs> Hello. Shit. That's Jeff, so 11. Jeff, one 10. of us is going to suck, man. I know, I know. One of yeah, us is going to suck so bad. And I'm so nervous. <laughs> well, we just have wheat roll for me. God, that I'm so nervous <laughs> about it. Wheat, or Jeff, you're up next. All right, all right. Strength. Roll 3d6. Ten. Ten. That's about that's what I was imagining. Dex? Ten. <laughs> Con. Oh, don't do this. I don't Con. Be the fucking... <laughs> Nine. Uh, Getting eleven. 11. Now. <gasps> Nine. <laughs> <laughs> Wiz. Is there one more? There's two, There's more. two, more. two more. Ten. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff. You Last got one, one more, Jeff. Man. Last one, charisma. It's gonna be a nine. Oh, it's good. <laughs> Yo, those are the worst trolls. God damn it. You guys right. are oh lucky I'm God. really good at, you know, imagination shit. Oh, God. Here we go. The numbers ain't doing it for me. Yeah, try to imagine yourself having better stats, maybe. So, <laughs> no. Adam, we have two columns in the stats. God. Yep. And so the, uh, the left column... Um, I don't have the character sheets in front of you. One of the columns is for the number. There's a modifier that'll be what you roll uh, when, like, you add to rolls. You can see it if you have the PDF on page ten. We'll get to that in a second. So just, just be consistent. Like, fill out the leftmost one with the numbers you've already got. Oh, the leftmost. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Strength, thirteen. Not bad. Dex. Oh fuck. Ooh. Seven. <laughs> uh, con is next, right? Yeah. Yep. Fuck me. Ant. <laughs> Ant. Eleven. This is not good. Uh, wisdom. Wisdom. Mother. Yeah, boy. Last, last <laughs> one is what? Charisma. Charisma. I need this one. <laughs> Fuck! Oh, yeah. God damn it! That's the uh, lowest score. We both got it. Those are only. I only had two double digits. <laughs> That's so right. bad. That's so so you can you can move points between your scores, lowering abilities above thirteen and raising below eight to even out. Uh, no such modifications can lower a high score below thirteen or raise a low one above eight. So yeah, yeah, so I'm you. fucked. Just remember that. <laughs> yeah. Look You're at stuck. Me. <laughs> All right. So now everybody needs to just choose a class. There's only three in the game. Um, warriors are survivors, proficient in fighting and combat. Uh, psychics are gifted with unique mental powers. Experts are everybody else. Experts have expertise in a wide range of useful skills. So, pick one of those three things, uh, and then we can talk about your uh, prime requisites. Does does anyone, with your by the way, does anyone else have this issue with the character sheet? When I put, change my decks, the con changes as well. Oh, the fields might be, uh, they might be have the same name. How do you save this, actually, now that I look at it? What do you mean? You just go to file How do you save, save your as? sheet? Did you download save. it? Oh, like right click and save as, I guess. Oh yeah, you yeah, gotta, you gotta download have it on your. It. You gotta download it. I think if you're looking I at that. Okay, okay. Yeah, oh, yeah. if the, if Dex like... if Dex and Connor uh, are linked, then um, I'll have to pop back or bet open between things and fix it. Okay. Just make a note somewhere. Okay. Uh, so like, can we talk about character concepts for a second? Yeah. yeah sure. So like, like wheat. What's the idea behind your character? What do you mean? Well, like, you know, we need someone to drive the ship. We need oh. someone to, to... What is it? We need navigation com computers navigation and... Vehicle yeah, space. So, and vehicle flight. Yeah, yeah space na vehicle. Navigation, navigation will allow you to chart uh, your trip from one place to another so you don't end up in, like, the middle of a star or, like, empty space with no fuel. So, mm -hmm. useful. 
Um, computers is for managing all the stuff that happens in the system. So like communications in the ship, um, both the, the jamming and detection thereof, scanners, that kind of stuff. Spock mm. shit. Um, and then uh, the vehicle space is the actual piloting of the ship. Uh, and it would be probably helpful if someone had business so you can haggle when you take jobs, but not necessary. So we, uh, what were you going to go with? Were you so going to take any of those? My character is going to have the computer skill. Okay. Okay. Cool. I'll take business too if we need that. So, so can a warrior take business, or do you have to be an expert to take business? It depends so on your what, background, or right? Yeah, what'll happen is after you pick your class, so the class really just meta modifies your stats and gives you a special ability. Your background package, which is your character's like early training and origins, like where you came from, um, you can pick up business from that if you want to. And then your training package is like what kind of warrior you are, so like space marine or like primitive dirt worlder or whatever. So... Uh, if you want a skill that's outside of what you'd expect in your normal skill package, usually the background covers it. Okay. Okay. So what class is... I assume everyone's picked a class. So, Steven, what class are you going with? Uh, I was thinking I was going to be an expert. Okay. We, you're going psychic? Is that still true? I'm going psychic, yes. Okay. Jeff, are you still going warrior? Yep. Okay. And I'm going expert as well. Yeah. So, Steven, I'm, I'm marking all this down because I'm going to have to put it in the sheet. Warrior, wheat, psychic, GP expert. Uh, and then real quick, what, what again are the stat modifiers? If they're higher than a 14, we can take it down? If it's higher than a 13, uh, you can reduce it down to 13. If it's lower than 7, you can bring it, or lower than 8, you can bring it up to 8. Okay, what do you so do if I, all your numbers are 10, 9, yeah, or 8? You can't modify you, it all? <laughs> you, live, you live with them. Damn. Now... I can't once, modify it all either. So here's here's the thing. Once you've picked your class, you can replace any one. You can replace one of your two prime requisites. So if you're an expert and you don't like your intelligence or your charisma, mm -hmm. get rid of that stat. Make it a fourteen. So pick one or the other. Oh, ones. okay, perfect. If you're a psychic, you can turn either your wisdom or constitution into a fourteen. And for a warrior, you pick strength or dex. And if it's lower than fourteen, you can bump it up. All right, I'll pick. So I just get to do that. So as a yep. warrior, I'm going to pick my dex. It's a fourteen now. Yeah, bump it up. Okay. okay. What's that you say? My lowest score becomes equal to my highest? Ah. <laughs> so oh, I'm no, taking... I have a 15. <laughs> now I've suddenly become like the best character in this group because I have a 15, a 14, a 14, a 9. Is that nine the only eight. stat modifiers we're going to get at all, Adam? That's it. You're done. Oh, okay. Once that's can, finished. Then, Steven, can you read me your stats? What's your strength? 15. What's your dex? 9. What's your con? 9. What's your int? 14. What's your wisdom? Eight. And Every time I change charisma. my dex to fourteen, it changes my con. And if I change 14. my con, yeah, that's to nine, that's changes. that's a bug in the sheet. I'll fix that for next session. Okay. What well, what was it, Stephen? Fourteen. Fourteen. Okay. Uh, wheat. Fort Tizzle. Wheat. Do you have yours? Um. Yeah. So <clears throat> strength eleven. Okay. And I can only raise a stat that's my prime to fourteen. Correct. Yeah. So you can you can take either wisdom or charisma and. Uh, oh no, we talked about this before. Wisdom or Constitution. Yeah. And so, strength yeah. eleven, Dex ten, Con twelve, Int thirteen, Wisdom fourteen, Charisma thirteen. Fuck you. Okay, Jeff, do you know what your stats are? <laughs> yeah. So okay, it's, can you read uh, off? Ten strength. Okay. Fourteen Dex. Uh -huh. Nine Con. Nine Int. Ten Wisdom. Eight Charisma. All right, and mine are. God damn it. Mine are 13, 7, 8, 11, 7, 14. <laughs> That's pretty wild. <laughs> They're the fucking You're worst. all over the place. They're the Not a balanced worst. individual. No. All right, so now, now that you've got your classes and your uh, stats are all ironed out, so if you have a stat that is from 4 to 7, um, put a minus 1 next to it. This is going to be the modifier, so anytime you do anything with this, with this stat, it'll be that number. So 4 to 7 is minus 1. Okay. Uh, 8 to 13 is no modifier. Okay. Excellent. And yeah. <laughs> fourteen to and fourteen to seventeen is plus one, and nobody has a three or an eight. Okay, perfect. So me and Jeff just have no modifiers at all ever. Yeah. Yeah. The plus one thing does it for con as well. So I guess. Oh, wait, wait. That. Four, fourteen to seventeen is plus one. Yeah, fourteen to seventeen. Is plus oh one. my god, I have one modifier. Yes. Same here. Jeff, high five, buddy. <laughs> all right. I have one as well. Um, okay. HP is that. Do we roll a d6 or do we start no, with 6? No, so yeah, just just start with a maximum amount of You're HP for You're starting your, us with max? 
Dude, oh. if, if I didn't, then Wheat would have one hit Thank point. And I'd be like, can I, oh. can I, can I just for the for the audience, can for I just roll? And giggles? So yeah, I could yeah. put sixteen, but let me just roll for the audience. Is sixteen the max? To, for me. No hit points. Oh. Hit points I'm one d four. It's yeah. It's a it's a d four plus oh, your modifier for Constitution. So right. we, yours is going to be. What's your Constitution modifier? Um, my, my God. Oh, my Constitution modifier is zero. So you you got four hit points, buddy. Oh, yeah. four hit points. It's yeah. not. It's oh my it's God. Not plus. Plus. It's, yeah, I was thinking four sucker. d four. You can survive like a single average shot from a pistol. Way to go! Don't get shot. Yeah. Don't get shot. So minus... Also, that's a good rule for just life, guys. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my minus God. six. <laughs> Jeff, is yours ten as a warrior or eight? Where does it say that? It's got to be eight. It uh, should be uh, it's right in the under... upper right of your sheet. Yeah, it says H. Where's... Yeah, it's eight. It says oh, HD, so, so I get hit dice. So, yeah. so you got eight. eight and Steven has six. Okay, cool. What do we do now? JP, do okay. you have a minus one in your con? Yeah. I'm eight, have a seven. so no. Oh. Okay. I have 13... Oh wait, no, my dex is seven. Whoops, I entered that wrong. Oh, it that's because con, it changes. Yeah, con and dex are both of them. Yeah, 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 that's right. Okay. Because chat's saying that you have seven hit points, not eight, or <laughs> five, not six. I guess. No, no, Math I have. Hard. I have eight con and seven dex. Yeah, oh, okay. so you're, you're, yeah, you're fine. Yeah, chat, that's it's a bug. Dex. It's your dex that's minus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, so um, if it wasn't already on the character sheet, uh, you would note down your class's special ability, but for the audience, I'll, I'll read them out. So experts sure. have a knack for success and can reroll a failed skill check once per hour. So that's hour of real-time like gameplay. <laughs> so if we play for three hours, experts, you can do one rerolled fail check per, per hour. Mm. Uh, warriors have uncanny luck on the battlefield. Once per fight, they can automatically evade an attack that otherwise would have hit them. And you can wait until I do damage on this if you want, uh, oh. Jeff. So I can be like, you take 47 damage, and you could be I like, no, not to take that. Yeah. no thank you. <laughs> uh, and psychics, your special ability is psychic powers. You have that's psychic just... Power. That's, uh, okay, great. Oh, it's so hard. Life is hard. You can move things with your mind. <laughs> oh, that's what, uh, that's what he can do? I, I can't. That's, but yeah, right. It good. depends on what powers you pick. But, oh, yeah. Oh. Um, so oh. the next thing everybody needs to do is select your background package. So this is an option to reflect your character's early training and origins, and you'll record the skills the package grants on your character sheet. So backgrounds can be found on page 13, and uh, they represent things that your character did before you got roped into this this crew of misfits. So you might have been uh, a bandit or a hermit or a noble, or you might have been a con artist or a priest. Each one will give you uh, a set of skills um, that you'll, you'll gain. Um, if you don't like any of them that are already here, uh, the adventurer one uh, allows you to take culture, a specific world, or culture spacer, and then any two skills you like. So you get less skills overall, but you can make up your own. So I do have a question. Uh, since we have to have either, uh, what is it, navigation, flight, space, and computers, mm -hmm. can we just get that, or does it have to be a part of our background packages? It'll either be part of your background package or your training, uh, which is the next step. So if you uh, if you don't take it now, then you'll have, oh, to, you uh, you'll have to pick too. one that cool. later. Yeah, <laughs> we'll do this again, but they're going to be class specific ones. Uh, Adam, also, do you have the link handy for that free PDF? I think Jeff yes. needs it. Uh, I do. I'll just give you the Dropbox. Perfect. So, um, you know, I was reading, uh, when I was reading through, it seemed like we could sort of bargain with you in terms of these background training packages, right? Maybe. What are you, what are you looking <laughs> to bargain about? So I would really, I, I would really like to either... So Rogue Psychic and Criminal Mind are both ones that I, I, I like and they're somewhat they're somewhat similar. Mm -hmm. But basically I want to give up culture criminal because I already get a culture from my class and take okay. combat any in its spot. And I feel like criminal mind, that's that's you know, that, yeah, that's, that could be that's fine. I'm not I'm not gonna Done. stick you on that stuff. Excellent. So, but don't you're you're jumping ahead. Criminal Mind okay. and Combat Psychic, those are those are for later. Uh, oh, we're just looking looking at background right now. Oh, background. Oh, God, weed. God damn it. My bad. Wait, Playing advanced stars with that number. Um. So oh, just just to give you guys an idea, like most most of the skills are pretty straightforward. Like if you have combat primitive weapon, you could use a bow and arrow. 
uh, if you have history, you know things about galactic history. Culture is a little bit different because culture allows you not only to learn things about specific stuff. So if I'm like, you crash land on planet X and you're like, I've got culture space. I want to learn some stuff about, you know, the customs of planet X. You can roll to know that. But it's also a way to uh, generate uh NPCs. So if you show up in a world and you're like, I, I know a guy here uh, because I have a culture traveler, so I know lots of different space travelers, we can roll and then we can introduce that character. Uh, it's kind of like how um, when Han Solo's like on the run from the Empire and he's like, oh, hey, Bespin, Lando lives there. He's my buddy. And then his player flubs the roll, so it's a trap, but he doesn't know that. That's how it works in this game, too. So culture skills are useful both as like knowledge skills and then also for <laughs> having your character tied to the various cultures of the, uh, of the sector. Okay. And these are separate <laughs> from like the class background packages. Yes. That's right. Oh, so you get okay. To that's both. where I fuck. You'll get two. Okay. You'll get a background first and then a training. Uh, okay. Training package. So right. go ahead. We, Oh, well, I, if I was going to choose computer, like com crew would be, yeah, that'd be a way to get it. Okay. Um, for the skills that you take, uh, just put a zero, skill start at zero. Um, because the way, the way this game works is if you are trying to do something you don't have the skill for it, you take a minus one. If you have the skill, you don't add anything. Um, and then they range between zero and five. Um, for the skill combat slash gunnery, is that only on it's, ships? Yeah, that's ship, ship lasers and sand throwers and missiles and stuff. Fuck. We've got lasers and sand throwers, JP. Is anyone taking... <laughs> Because I was going to go navigation, but I want to take con artist. But that doesn't give us anything that we need. <laughs> well, <laughs> but you get the option to get something we need with uh, your your expert training package as well, right? Uh, yep. What what page is that on, Adam? Because I feel like That's, we should be looking at them at the, at the same sure, time. Sure, yeah, you can look at them at the same time. That's so, page 18 and 19, JP. Yeah, background packages are 13 okay, I got uh, and 14. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh, nice. Then, okay, perfect, yeah. I got navigation, guys. I got that under lock. So I'm going to take awesome. con artist. Okay. Background con artist. Uh, do the I'll other. Just take soldier, I guess. Okay. okay. And then. Jeff, are you, are you looking to take. Uh, what is it? Comms, navigation, and. Computer? I no, took com crew. You took you took computer navigation and what what's the other one? Damn, I can't remember this at all. Business, uh, computers, navigation, and vehicle space. Oh yeah, vehicle, vehicle space. Yeah, vehicle space. Are you planning on being a pilot, Jeff? No, uh, but if we need to, I guess I could do that. <laughs> I, I can be, be a pilot. All right, yeah. I can be a pilot. Yes. We need business, I guess, but I can do I that can in the deal other one. With this. Okay. Which one has yeah. business like? Um, if you are a warrior, let's see if any of these have business. I imagine there's like a private military one. Um, uh, mercenary. Yeah. So if you do soldier yeah. mercenary, you'll get business from mercenary. Okay. Um, if you, when you're picking your, uh, training package, if you get a repeat, so if you have a skill that you've already got, uh, I think it just gives you a bonus plus one to that skill. Oh, okay. So if you double up, then you get you really get extra. And bonus. where's the training one? Oh, shit. If a skill appears in both your background package and training, take it at level one instead of level zero. Uh, those come immediately oh, wow. after each class description. So uh, pages 19, 21, and 23. Okay. Oh, shit. I'm excited, guys. <laughs> I'm excited, too. That actually <laughs> This changes. is working out. Um, okay, I'll just have to edit that in because the, the sheet has, like, culture slash, but it's not editable for those mm. three things. Mm -hmm. But I need to add that in. Yeah, just make a note. Right. Yep. Uh, Steven, did you already choose your background? Uh, I'm still looking through it all. Let's see here. I want to see what, what kind of expert training packages I could get. Oh, geez. Well, I could become a pilot. That could be a training package that I take for expert. So, yeah. Uh, I think I'm going to be a biotech crew, which gives nice. me culture, spacer, science, tech, astronautic, and tech medical. Interesting. It's get get some Lazarus patches. Make sure no one else dies, especially yep. weed. Yes. <clears throat> this this four hit point. Okay. Uh, who hasn't wheat? Did you choose? Uh, yeah, I'm choosing Com Crew. Com Crew. Okay. Uh, Jeff, what about you? Mercenary. Okay, and I'm taking Con Artist. And how how do we know what this gives us? Where is it on the sheet that we highlight that somewhere? It's in the uh, in the PDF that you just got. Go to page thirteen. 
Yeah, I got that. But oh, okay. are we so you just take that, things, you take that, and then where it says skills underneath, and then you just put a zero next to that oh. skill on the character sheet. Yeah, so you've got combat projectile, combat unarmed, culture, and then you'll pick a specific world and tactics all at zero. Um, so I do have one question. But for the ones you have redundant between background and training, you do plus one, right? Yeah, if you have it on both. Like if you have soldier and then mercenary also gives you combat projectile, you add another yeah. one. So it goes from zero to one. Cool. Okay. Um, how do we get skills? Do we get skills when we level up, or what? Yeah, yeah. You'll get you'll get skill uh, points that you can spend when you level up. Uh, okay. s- experts get them a lot faster than everybody else. You're damn right they do. Skills are the jam. Weak. <laughs> You're damn right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. What package are you gonna take, Lumpkin? I don't know why I'm calling you by your last name, but let's just go with it. It is. It is what it is. You know what I mean? Yeah. Come on, Lumpkin. Oh, Hurry Jesus. The fuck up, there's Lumpkin. there's so many. Okay. Well, I'm taking Bounty Hunter. Okay. I was not looking at bounty hunters, so Perfect. you're 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 golden. So your background is con artist, and your training is bounty hunter. Yep. Okay. Cool. Culture slash world isn't here, so that's just there's a culture one. You just yeah, yeah you'd be yeah again if because I think JP mentioned there's you can't edit that, so I'm gonna I'll fix that one. Okay. But yeah, think about like you'd you'd be a specific world. It might be your home world. It might be another world. It doesn't. Uh. You can, Figure vehicle out. slash any means I choose one of you the vehicle one. ones, right? Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to be a Xeno archaeologist. <laughs> oh, nice. Which gives me another combat, another culture, history, language, perception, science, tech, any, and vehicle any. So well, you're going to be a your... pilot too, right? Yeah, vehicle any is going to be vehicle space. So what's your uh, what background did you take? The... Uh, biotech. Biotech uh-huh. background. Cool. Bio, so biotech crew and then biotech and crew and Xeno. Your character is such a nerd. Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ships. Ships nerd. All right. If it says biotech combat crew. any, do you put a zero in all the combats? No, no you, you pick one. one. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. But it gives me combat projectile, so potentially I could just go double up on that, right? Um, not if it's in the same. Um, like if it gives you combat projectile, First combat nerd? any, you can't. Okay. But if you have projectile in one and then any in the other, yeah, you could just grab okay. projectile again. <laughs> Steven. Then I'll do. Uh, okay, would sorry. knives be unarmed technically? Or, um, or knives primitive? Is pr- primitive. Yeah. Okay. And as a bonus, you get spears. And Steven, are you other flying? Sharp objects. Yeah, I'm flying. You want me to fly and you not to fly? Um, hell no, fly? sucker. Culture. And ship's my baby. Uh, do we have any other vehicles on the ship, Mr. DM? Not, not, not presently. No. I mean, you have the cargo space to fit vehicles if you want to but you don't have enough mo- i mean you yeah you have no money so <laughs> if you steal one though what uh what would be considered a vehicle grav would that be something that is floating um yeah hover cars hover tanks what is more common in these in this world depends on what planet you're on um tech level three planets don't have grav uh technology uh tl4 and above will well, let's yeah. so hold on i chose my planet earlier oh shit i gotta open up that thing that you sent me I'm going to choose Criminal Mind, by the way, for my training. Um, but as I mentioned, I want to give up Culture Criminal for projectile weapons. You're, you're cool with that? Yeah, that's, that's fine. Okay. Uh, great. Are we starting at level one? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Zero so, um, J- JP, just for reference, um, like more than, ha- I would say two thirds of the worlds in the sector are TL4 and above. So, so they would grab. have Grav? Yeah, Grav stuff is pretty Can cool. Can you. Uh, I'm kind of jumping ahead here, but I don't have it easily accessible, and I think you do. Can you tell me what type of planet uh, Asa is? Uh, yeah, let me pull up tech- the... Because in- whatever that is, I'll choose my vehicle from that. Okay. And yes, I did choose the planet uh, named after the porn star. <laughs> that is how Asa that was. Akira. Yeah, okay. That's how that was chosen. Planet Asa, it is a... Tech level four planet. Cool, so they would have Grav. And then I have one other question. So yes. in between the uh, in between all the background packages and then the individual classes, there's also the the character skills. Yeah. So the class, like the class skills, those are going to be. Um, they, it just it just modifies the cost of raising them later. So where it says like expert class skills, like all except combat skills, tactics, and tech sci tech. Um, for psychics, there's a list like combat sci tech, culture, any. Those are your class skills. They're going to be cheaper later on. 
um, but they don't really matter. It. So you don't actually select one. It's just kind of an explanation of them, right? I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Gotcha. Just stuff your classes. So, okay. Adam, give me a better. city that would be, uh, or a world that would be like city and high tech and crime. Filled. The uh, the highest tech level world uh, is um, Oninsa. Um, it is yeah, a it. abandoned colony. Um, How do you spell that? Uh, o n i n t z a. Oh my God! You just said Zed. Are you German? No, I'm. He's Canadian. Canadian. We don't hang with Germans here. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Canada Day a week ago. Sprackens is space. Since we're talking go. about, are you selecting homeworlds? So, uh, Oninsa, just to just to give you uh, some, just quick to make sure it sounds like a place you want to be from. Um, Oninsa was a uh, colony world that was abandoned due to a religious war. Um, it's uh, yeah, like there's a there's a religious war over the planet that caused massive damage, and uh, and most people left. There's still some like embittered like holdouts that still live there, fighting the uh, fighting the war uh, over that planet. But it's the highest tech planet. Yes, it has uh, pre tech and uh, pre like scream technology, which is probably why people were fighting over it. Uh, cool. If you think so a criminal. A criminal kind of a suave dude could come from there. Then, of yeah. course. You're sure. going to be the one stealing or trying to steal all the shit. Yeah, okay. I mean, Guys, uh, I like Germans. Chat, don't, don't freak out. I'm half German myself. Yeah, we're can very you, sarcastic on the show. Don't take anything we say seriously. Adam, uh, <laughs> yes. can you tell me what the most uh, wealthy homeworld would be? <laughs> um, so, like, the, the homeworld that's sort of the most prosperous? Yes. Um, Guys, I Let's just went by the name. I didn't go by like the stats of the world. I saw Ass and I was like, I'm in. You done goofed. I know. I'm worried. Well, though. it doesn't, JP, don't worry about it because my character is poor as fuck in the wealthiest place. So in the universe. there's a there's a planet there's a planet called Majid. Uh it's currently undergoing a gold rush. Um and uh that's probably a good bet if you want to be M A J I M A J I D, yep. Oh wow, I got that. Or Jed, as they say. Majid. Jed. I say Jed. Majid. <laughs> in Planet 5 in the Vafai system. Uh, I do have a question for you. Um, in terms yes. of combat, what would be like an energy pistol? And would I have access to something like that at level 1? So at character creation, you are allowed uh, to purchase tech level 4 and lower equipment. Um, the lowest tech level energy weapon is a laser pistol. Uh, it's tech level 4, so you could buy it. Um, Perfect. It's two hundred. It's two hundred credits, though, so you may not be able to afford it. Um, you'll start with. What if I? Can I somehow con someone out of it? You you could do that at the beginning. Of the game. Okay. Um, or you could convince your friends to lend you some money. I could. Um, How much money do we start with? I'm looking for that right now. It's okay. not a ton. And you said that's an energy weapon. Yep. Yep. Okay. I'll Choose take lasers. That. Oh yeah, no. You have you start with four hundred credits plus one d six times one hundred, so you might have a thousand credits to start with. Oh okay. Mm -hmm. Can we all roll yeah. for our credit start right now? Um, well, has everybody picked their background package and training package? Yes, I believe so. Okay, so I'm just gonna make sure I have it in my notes. So, uh, we your comms crew criminal mind. Yes. Okay, and I think that was the only one that I had. So these are these are ways to like in thinking about how you want to play your character. Like the first one is the thing you were before, and then the other one is the thing you kind of are now. So like we, for example, used to be comms crew on a ship, but now you're like a criminal psychic. So think about kind of what moved you from one to the other. What happened to your ship? Like where's the rest of the crew? What what made you go from comms crew to criminal mind? Things like that. Some of them are sure. easier to figure out, like soldier to mercenary. Maybe you're part of the army. Now you're part of your own army. There you go. Biotech uh, crew to xenoarchaeologist. <laughs> yeah. A natural transition. If ever I heard you're just one. a fucking lifelong nerd. There's no. I'm <laughs> pretty sure. I'm pretty sure Steven's playing Zoidberg. Uh, is what's happening here? Yeah. Except he's like more charismatic, strong, dexterous, <laughs> powerful than the rest of us. Than all of us. He's, yeah. He chooses Super not to nerd. care about all that. <laughs> all right, so everybody has that stuff. You've all marked your skills down. Um, does everybody have a home world? No. Uh, can okay. you link us to the, the Dropbox with the, the system in it? The thing? Yeah. While you're um, doing that, yeah. um, if I wanted to dual wield pistols, would that give yep. me any benefit? And is there a skill relationship to that or no? Um, no, I mean, this, this skill is just... Um, I mean, you get, you'll, in combat, it's real simple. You get, like, a move and an action. The benefit of having two pistols is that if one runs out of ammo, 
you have the other one without having to draw another weapon. But I weapon. couldn't use two pistols at once. No, not not initially, because you only have one like one shot time for one shot, basically. Okay. Um, okay let's well, yeah. If anybody, uh, if anybody in uh, in the chat wants to follow along and look at the uh, Asgard Sigma Encyclopedia, it's on uh, JP's Reddit. Oh yes, With all the maps and stuff. Um, so I'll post this. Okay, Steve, here we go. Woot. Cool. So there's Asgard Sigma. Um, cool. So while Stephen is deciding where he wants to be from. Uh, if you haven't already, uh, note your hit points. So just take the max for the die. So uh, the two experts will have uh, six plus your constitution modifier. Uh, Jeff, you'll have, uh, you'll have eight plus your constitution modifier. Did you say, uh, Adam, we were starting in Gunhild? Uh, yes, I'm going to start you off there. I will be from Andani. Ooh, nice. Andani. Okay, cool. Where we where are you from again? Majid. And Jeff? What planet did we decide uh, you're from? that awesome one we just described. Onitsa. Cool. <laughs> okay, cool. So uh choose your language. So your character speaks uh English. Uh you speak your world's native tongue if that's different. Uh you can decide that yourself. I don't really care. Um uh, It'll just matter if you go there. Uh, and then you can add one more language per point of intelligence modifier bonus. So Excellent. The game, the game is set... <laughs> Jeff, next, uh, let's go! <laughs> the game is set in the year 3200, so you're pretty distant from like normal Earth cultures, but people have managed to hang on to their languages pretty, uh, pretty solidly. Um, so if you want to speak uh, like Korean, that's a valid choice. Uh, I don't like see that. this on the... Yeah, where is this anywhere? on the character sheet? Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure. Just make a note somewhere. Maybe in the notes section. Notes. Yeah. So Perfect. English, but it's based on earthly. Based languages. on actual, yeah, actual languages. Unless for some reason you're like, if you're a mercenary, you could have uh, like a special like mercenary hand sign like language that you uh, that you speak. You can make up languages if you want to, but they tend uh, to be pragmatic rather than uh, cultural because you haven't had time to build a full cultural language. Surely I could speak some sort of ancient alien tongue. Sure, yeah. Um, so the alien races you may have encountered, um, you can see them if you have the Galactic Encyclopedia open. There's the alien races. I do. Side right there, so you can pick one of those. You can speak their, their native tongue. Hmm. Uh, I like Shindel because they're hybrid alien and avian and exotic. Cool, so you speak. <laughs> they have scales instead of feathers and chainsaw-like mouth parts or claws. I would love to hear you try and use your human mouth to make a chainsaw-like mouth sound. Uh, probably, like, I have to use my hands here. You're probably. To, like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you have to chew, chew like a rock while you're speaking. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay, so, so I speak English and Shindelian. <laughs> Shindel? Okay, cool. Ancient, ancient Shindelian. Right. I have no use for modern Shindelians. <laughs> you speak so you said without modifiers, we just get to pick one other? Is what you, uh, you get English and your world's native tongue if it's different. Um, I'll so say if people uh, is Japanese. It sounds kind of Japanese, <laughs> okay. right? Yeah, Onitsu, sure. yeah, yeah. Uh, you can spell. Oh, I did say Japanese. Onitsu, which is not what it is. It's, it's Onitsa, but it still sounds Onitsa, kind of Japanese. Yeah, you could. Onitsa, yeah, you could say Onitsa in Japanese. There you go. <laughs> I'll uh, steal all the anime fanboys that JP would have other or uh, DJ Wheat would have otherwise garnished for himself. So. Yeah. Then I'll take all the Firefly fanboys and choose Chinese. So fuck <laughs> off. Cool. So do you? Does that mean uh, Wheat that that Ajid speaks Chinese primarily? And if so, Mandarin or Cantonese? Uh, Mandarin. Okay. And yes. All right. We so Ajid, I'm, I'm guessing it, it sounds to me like it wasn't named by Mandarin speakers. So is it like? Uh, like a different ruling group than originally named the planet, or how how that happen? Because it sounds kind of like Arabic. Your name's I, Majid. I feel like the people uh, that the planet, uh, planet. Majid, the people that are sort of governing the planet, basically bought their way in there, oh, and, and, yeah. and so they had enough cool. money to call it whatever they want and do whatever they wanted to do. So hence the mining of all the gold. Cool. The rich get richer. That's kind of awesome. So it's like a uh, it's a gold a gold mine gold rush world. 
led by like a mandarinate. That's really yes. cool. Yes. Awesome. Okay, cool. Oh, welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Watch it if anybody said that. <laughs> All right. So you start with 400 credits plus 1d6 Sweet. times 100 credits. You can buy any equipment of tech level 4 or lower. And you can find all of that fun stuff. You can find all your gear porn on page. Starting on 33. Did you say How 1d6 many times 100? Do I get? Yeah. Uh, roll, roll a d6, multiply it by, uh, by 100. And, oh, I got uh, a 5. Okay, there you add. go. There you go. So I'm at 900 credit, is what you said? 900 credits, yep. You, you get how much credits to then buy our weapons? We don't start off with anything? No, we don't start with anything. Yeah, I mean, you have like clothes and you start have off a with spaceship. 400 but. wheat. Oh, nice. Thousand. Rich psychic. Yeah, yes. you're a rich poor person. We good job. Aha! Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Can't wait uh, to roll this one. Motherfucker! Uh, <laughs> it's <laughs> actually. Uh, oh your last, my god! Your you last said con it. didn't work out so good for you. No, man, not at all. God <laughs> damn it! Drain some old lady's bank account. <laughs> how do you change your name? It says as Jeff R. But how do you change that? For what? Oh, uh, go cool. click the cog wheel in the uh, top oh, right. Cog. You got a display okay. name. Cool. Cogwheel, top right. Um, all right, what's next? Buy, buying stuff, buying equipment. Um, so you can find all your equipment starting on page 33. Okay. Um, and uh, I would suggest purchasing... Um, look, look at like regular equipment first. Adam, did you want me to tell you my psychic powers? By the way, no, we'll we'll do that, uh, okay. we'll do that next. That's the last okay. thing. You need. Okay, gotcha. Cool. Um, yeah, like look at look at exploration gear on page forty one first. Things like uh, communication equipment, um, that sort of thing. Like you want to have the space equivalent of a cell phone. Um, Stephen, I would suggest spending a, a few credits on Lazarus patches and a med mm-hmm. kit. Yep. Um, a, a Lazarus patch will allow you to bring someone back uh, from zero hit points if they're dead. You get like one shot at it. Yeah. Um, so if you want to be the, the difficulty the, six, oh, that's every, not too bad. Difficulty six, six is not. Wait, so a comm server you were saying? Well, like a, a comm, um, a comm pad or a data slab. Um, both of those are useful. Think of them as like a phone or an iPad. Where, uh, where Adam, is where's what's a monoblade? <laughs> uh, a a monoblade is a knife with uh, an edge that's as sharp as a single Stop. molecule. I'll take it. Okay, I'm good. Oh, I see um, it. Can I get a motorcycle <laughs> if I'm in, in debt by an extra 200 no. credit? Oh. Borrow, it, borrow no. it from the rich warrior. Or the Whoa. psychic. Hey, hey, <laughs> ease Com- up here, Okay, so right? a compad you said is good to have? Yeah, I mean, if you want to be able to communicate with each other or make phone calls or... Oh my god, submachine gun. It can reach other compads within <laughs> one kilometer. Is our ship equipped with Shut. something? Yeah, the ship has built-in... The ship has built-in <laughs> uh, long and short-range communication information. So you can you can always call the ship. The ship can call you. Um, wait, wait. How, how much is a compad? I only see comm server. Uh, no, compads, the compad's down. You gotta keep, yeah, keep going. Compads are... Well, Adam, can I ask you a question? When We're we get into the credit. show, okay. how soon can I kill someone with a really good weapon and take Almost that? Shut up. Almost Let me ask it. real questions. <laughs> can you actually explain armor before I spend yes. any money on okay. this other so, shit? So, good. <laughs> so combat in Stars Without Number, the attack roll that anyone will be making, you or other NPCs, is you take a d20 and you roll and you add... Your bonus, and you add the uh, your opponent's armor. So the lower your armor, the better that armor is, because that's that's what you're adding. If you have no armor, anyone attacking you gets to add nine to their their d20. There's a uh, fucking musket that you could have. <laughs> I goddamn dare someone to take a musket. So if you want if you want armor uh, that's that's like reasonably protective, look for something with low uh, armor. Because the idea is you roll a d20, you add your target's armor class, you add your combat skill, your attribute modifier. And your attack bonus, and if you get a twenty or better, it hits. So it's a little weird if you're used to D and D, but it, it basically just builds up towards twenty. So as a psychic, is there any limitation to what I can? No, no, no. you can wear whatever you, you know, whatever you can afford. Um, keep an eye out though that like trying to wear power armor, which I doubt you can afford, requires like specific training not to use it. Plus, it needs batteries, so keep that in mind. And so, okay. <sighs> Wait. Okay. Gotcha. 
Uh, JP, if you're, gonna, if you're gonna buy that laser pistol, make a note, all energy weapons get a plus one to hit, no matter what. Yeah, I mean, yeah. And then how does energy, or how does uh, ammo work for the laser pistols versus, like, something else? Versus, like, pr uh, projectile? Um, so you'll buy, you'll buy it more or less the same, uh, the same way. Um, it, it'll say magazine and have uh, an amount of shots uh, available. Um, and then there should be a section for uh, purchasing. I, I, don't worry I just, about... Don't worry about buying stuff like um, like rations and stuff. Your ship can um, it, it has enough food for. I, I put it on the ship sheet, but you can survive in the ship. You live out. You can live out of your car if you need to. Okay. What does um, what does A B mean in the weapons thing on Attack the character sheet? So that I get a plus one there. Yeah. Because okay. uh, with a laser pistol, essentially you're. You're pointing it and you're pulling the trigger and it goes exactly where you point it because it travels. Its are you uh, giving us full ammo on the purchase? Or are you going to be a dick and yeah. say that we're missing some rounds? No, no, the gun. Good the answer. Gun, <laughs> the gun comes with 10, 10 shots. Beautiful. You can buy it extra. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, I would assume, but we can, if you guys want to move on because we're coming up near the break, we can move on to the psychic stuff for weed and then you guys can choose the equipment during the break. Does that work for yeah, everyone? Good. Wait, what uh what were you gonna choose? Um, so we, yeah, we you yeah. get a primary discipline at level one right. and uh one more point to spend on a secondary discipline. So which what are your disciplines? So my primary discipline is going to be a precog. Okay. Um which means I get omen. Okay. Uh, and it's uh pretty cool. Basically, uh the precog will receive a distinct sense of whether following that course of action will result in physical injury or mental distress within the next ten minutes, according to the GM's best judgment of likely outcomes. This power could be used only once per hour. And then my backup or my second one will be biosionics and it'll be biostasis, which is somewhat ironic considering that I'm probably the most likely to die, but it lets me bring someone back to life. So yeah, it's essentially a psychic psychic Lazarus patch. I know you already explained this, but is armor class higher or lower better? Lower is better. You start with AC nine if you're not wearing anything, and it goes down the more armor you put on. What is encumbrance based off of? Strength? Uh it's yeah, it's like number of slots, I think. Like each item takes up a certain amount of encumbrance. Um, Interesting. I find I find encumbrance generally pretty boring and stupid, but Okay. It's there so that you can't be like, I'm carrying 47 assault rifles. So, I, I mean, try and keep track of it. And if I think you're being abusive, I'll be like, what's your encumbrance? And then you got to justify it. But otherwise, I don't. Where does it show your encumbrance? Um, I don't know because I don't care. Okay. Uh, it only has it in the inventory. I don't think it keeps track of it, though. Yep. Yeah. I have a combat shotgun. <laughs> I'm, I'm very, oh, here you go. You can carry a, a ready number of items equal to half your strength score, rounded down. Ready items include those things you're wearing or ready at all times, so like in holsters and belt pouches. Um, you can draw or produce a readied item as part of any other action. Um, you can have stowed items equal to your full strength. So that's like crap in a bag or like a deep pocket. So if you have a gun in a holster, it's readied, so you don't have to be like, I'm going to take an action to take it out. Now I'm going to take an action to shoot it. You're just like out. Okay. Why is armored undersuit expensive? Because it's armor, you can wear under other armor. Oh, okay. and it's like you can hide it, and it's like a like a bodysuit of nano weave. Cool. Armor. But how does it stack then? So let's say you have woven body armor for five. Yep. Then you have armored undersuit that's seven. What do you do mm -hmm. to make your armor class lower? How does that work? Um, I think that it's like the you divide the lower one uh, in half. But I'll I'll check for you on the break. But then why would you have the other one? Well, you add them together. So like I think it's it's like if you have seven and five, you add three. You, or whatever you like, reduce it. I'll check it for you though. You add. So what do we start at? In these, so these are subtracting from what you start at, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. You start. You, start low, you have a low AC. Yeah, if you have no armor at all, you're wearing uh, your AC is nine. Your armor. Okay. So okay. Cool. Uh, is there that. anything else we need to do before? I mean, we'll do some character stuff afterwards, but yeah, when we come back, we can talk about. Uh, everybody can introduce their characters. We'll get names and description stuff, and then we can jump into the action. Perfect. Sounds good. We'll take our first break. We're going for three more hours today, so uh, stick around. Take a quick three-minute break. When we come back, we'll go into actually playing the game. But uh, this is pretty typical for the first show or first hour of uh, the premiere of shows is we do character creation. So if people want to create a character or perhaps do a, a game of their own, they can follow along. So we'll be right back in three minutes, guys. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you soon.